Hi, let's talk about some short small seeds known as Ajamoda seeds and uh, its botanical name is Tachyspermum roxburghianum. It's from the family Umbelliferae. So into the details of the medicinal properties of these seeds from an Ayurvedic perspective. So let's begin. Ajamoda tushu lakni tiktoshna kapo adajit hikka atmana arujir hanti krimijit vanni deepani. Vanni deepani means it enhances vanni or digestive fire in the body. That means it can aggravate pitta dosha and it can aggravate pitta to a, to a great extent. So it is uh, to be used with caution in pitta prakriti persons and in those with uh, pythic disorders. It is contraindicated in pregnancy. So it is a kapha vada shamana. It alleviates kapha and vada doshas in the body. It is of legu ruksha dikshna gunas. It has a kadu vipaka and a kadu rasa. It is said to be shulakna, that is it uh, relieves pain. It is an anti-spasmodic agent. It uh, relieves uh, uterine muscle spasm. So it is beneficial in dysmenorrhea. It is also beneficial as a diuretic and uh, as a urinary bladder cleanser. It is also beneficial in uh, relieving muscle pain associated with uh, rheumatological complaints. And it is said to be krimijit. It is uh, effective in uh, in alleviating uh, or in uh, eliminating the creamies or uh, parasites or intestinal worms. So let's see how to use this uh, Ajamoda seeds. It can be used as a distillate. Ajamoda arka is available. It can be used uh, as a hot infusion or we can use it externally as a poultice or as a paste form. For indigestion and gastric complaints, it can be taken along with uh, rock salt and uh, it can be taken along with water for intestinal worms so these are some of the uses of uh, ajamoda then in this menorrhea we can use it as a hot infusion now some formulations containing ajamoda they are uh, vektumaran guliga ganga Vadi, and of course ajamoda arka so that is it about uh, ajamoda seeds thank you